uh, the same, which is try hack me. Just open it. You want me to access on my side, eh? Yeah, you can open. There's no issue. You can also open your side. Yeah, because I I uh, logged in yesterday, signed up yesterday. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. Good. You can do that. I will log in. Now, after logged in, go to the learn. In the learn, we having practice section. Go to the practice. In the practice, you can see we having a one Windows operating system uh, exploitation. OK, otherwise uh, the other one you need from VI. Only for the one allow, it means the limited one because otherwise you need to just pay the money for taking some labs. OK, if you want to take this, you can just take it. Otherwise it is OK. Now, just so you can see there, this is the uh, lab of the Windows operating system, OK, and lab called Eternal Grid, OK, and we are testing this machine. So what I am doing, just click on Start Machine. You can see they are assigning a IP address right now as a target, OK. Now after that, you need to open the machine as well, the another machine for the testing this IP address. So just click on the question mark one. Click on the start attack box. Now, I'll open the terminal. Now, uh, I have this IP address. Okay. Now I will check with the ping first. It will it will be communicable or not. Yeah, it's pingable. Now and map is the IP address it is. Okay. okay. Now I got some port MSRPC, NetBIOS, SSN, and Microsoft DS, and this one. Now sometimes you see they didn't show the services like unknown. Okay, so what at that time you should do? You can use the Google. You can use the Google. 49152. Let me check that. Port it is it is often used for the TCP UTP port. Temporary or private port is what? Well. Okay, it is just a private port was there. That's why they're just showing the unknown. Okay. So now what should I check? Let me check the versions. And here they we got that the Microsoft NetBIOS SSN are using and uh, they're using maybe Windows 7 or Windows 10 for this. OK, and uh, right now we will check with the vulnerabilities uh, right class like a Nessus you can use. Otherwise, I'm using the nmap script. Check whether I found anything or not. No HTTPS was there. It means there's no web server as available, but they only having the Microsoft server. No. <clears throat> If you can see here, I got a vulnerability which is remote code execution vulnerabilities in Microsoft SMB version one. It means this server are using the Microsoft SMB version one. Okay, 
if they are using the version 1 that's why the vulnerability is created as per i told you if you uh, like whenever you are testing any type of environment okay whenever you are testing any type of environment if there was a, any type of vulnerabilities okay was there okay and if maybe not exploitable if maybe exploitable okay so if it is exploitable so it is uh, so it will be good if it is not exploitable it is okay you can just make it yeah this is the vulnerabilities and you have to fix it before the exploit is happened but if you still exploitable successfully it will be the good if you can see they are showing the cve id and the risk is very high and uh, here the vulnerability is this one smb vulnerability ms17010 okay now what should i do i can check with the online yeah Any check the cv on nine yeah and check if and the exploitation was available or not okay, okay. so ms17010 I think Rapid 7 will have this. Okay, Eternal Blue SMB Remote Windows Kernel Pool Corruption. Okay, and this is the exploit I found. Okay, now I found the exploit. What should I do now? I open the MSF console. And I need to find this one. Copy. So It's eternal blue, no? Like there's an E. E T E R. About that. So this one is exploit we found. I must. 17010 eternal blue. Okay. Now I will use this. Now set target. Set target. So payload calibration default. Okay, so right now I have to check the show target and then set update ID. Target. I think shows target on something on such a big box. GPTS not target targets okay now there was a many target was available the automatically set at zero and our target is windows 7 okay so we're having the many windows here as well as 10 so i'm just taking automatically okay not putting anything because we don't know exactly which windows they are using because whenever we turn the end map they are just say windows 7 to windows 10 okay so i'm just leave it as in automatic so you can just set target zero as an automatic and show options in the show options l host was available l port is available okay now i just need to set the r host which is our remote ip so set r host r hosts and then dot then dot when forty two dot two zero five
Okay. Now I can see we got the session one. Okay. But right now we got only meter 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 not have in depth of much access. So I am just putting the command shell to getting the shell access. Now I can see we got the yeah 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 shell access so slash window the system for <laughs> uh. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we got a 